Hey everyone, Sega Man back here with another video. Now I did a video yesterday about toxic gaming, but let's do this is another video here that's gonna be a good video. Not a not a video like that, you know, but I just felt that I had to get that off my chest. You know, what I mean I had a uh, troll come into my on my channel and uh he said some something some stupid shit, I don't know. I just deleted him, I'm not gonna reply to him. Like I told you, if you're going to come in here and be negative, you know, about uh, what I say on my channel, like I said before, you're just going to, you're going to be blocked and you're just, uh, your, your uh, comment will be deleted. So, but yeah, let's get into, this is some of my great shooters that are on the PlayStation 1 and the PlayStation 2. And I'm also going to show you other couple games on the, uh, the, uh, the uh, PlayStation 1 that were actually pretty pretty damn good you know what I mean so uh, let's get right into it now this is one of my favorite I own most of my shooters on my Sega Saturn and my Sega Genesis I have way way more because I've been collecting for years you know uh, over 15 years or more I've been collecting because I have a big collection uh, in my game room downstairs but this game here I got at a flea market it's uh, G. Darius for the uh, PlayStation. It is a great game. A lot of these shoot 'em ups have been going up in price, and I think they're a little more now than than uh, back in the day. But uh, this is this is it here, and I I, I love this uh, series. This is for the PlayStation One. Uh, I have the one. I have a different version of this on the Saturn, which is really good. But this one is also pretty damn good. For the uh, regular PlayStation, you know that you know uh, it's complete and everything, but uh, it's a great shoot 'em up. So for you guys out there that might just be adopting gaming right now, and you, sometimes you want to uh, maybe try some old school games, especially smups if you're if you like shooters, uh, this is a great shooter. I recommend this for your uh, PlayStation, and you know it'll also play on your PlayStation 2 and stuff like that. You guys, most of you guys should know that. So. This is a great shoot 'em up uh, for the regular PlayStation. Uh, let's see, another one here. Uh, it's pretty cool. It has a good cover. Uh, it's pretty pretty decent. I don't think it's that much. I'm not sure. A lot of this stuff goes up in prices. A lot of the shoot 'em ups for the PlayStation you can get, but some of them are very expensive. I think the ones that are most really really expensive, even more than the PlayStation, is the one on the Dreamcast. You know, Doompachi and, and different games like that are very expensive on the Dreamcast. But this is another one that's pretty much affordable, I believe. I got it for a good price. It is uh, Race Storm. It's another good shoot 'em up for the uh, PlayStation 1. It's a pretty decent game, man. Uh, man I got it at, a, at my exchange for, I think it was 5 bucks or something like that. But it was like brand spanking new. You know what I mean? And uh, it's a great shoot 'em up for the uh, PlayStation, so I highly recommend this one also. And this one everybody knows about usually. This version of the of a shoot 'em up was on, I think, started out actually on the uh, regular Nintendo, you know, the old school Nintendo, if if I'm correct. It is uh, uh, Strikers uh, 1945. This is another great shooter. Uh, my my favorite shooter is called Raiden. Raiden uh, for the um, it's on a Sega Genesis. I have both of them on my 360. One of them is back and pat for the Xbox One. But uh, this is another good shooter for the PlayStation uh, One. A little story about this. I was at a flea market and this kid, this dude actually, you know, he was looking at some of the games that I was looking at. And I just had a feeling he was wanting, he was looking at this first, but the lady was waiting on me. So I grabbed it and he looked like he got a little pissed off. You know what I mean? Because maybe it went up in price or whatever. And he was looking to cop it, but I got it before him. Like, now nah, let me get this, man, because I think he's gonna grab it. You know what I mean? I said, yeah, give me that that uh, PlayStation shooter game right there. She's like, okay, but yeah, but this is another great game uh, for the regular PlayStation, man. It's an awesome game. Highly recommended. It. it should be affordable. I'm not sure about this. Now this next one here, I can't, I can't, I can't remember how to pronounce this. I think it's called Geeko, Geeko, or something like that. But um, it's a shoot. It's called Geeko the Shooting King. I might have the name wrong. This is another great shooter for the PlayStation One. 
I keep my all my stuff in good condition. <clears throat> but it's a good shooter, man. Top down. Great game. You know what I mean? I highly recommend this one too if you guys uh are looking to get some shoot 'em ups for your PlayStation. You know, it's a uh it's a great game. Now another one here is these are PlayStation 2 games. Now, PlayStation shooters, I mean you can get there's a lot of them you can get. I've been researching some of these other games, but they're becoming expensive, man. You know what I mean? Some of these shooters on all systems. You know, I mean, even the 360, man, they're just becoming expensive. You know, but um, this one here I got at a flea market at a good price. Uh, it is called uh, Split He, The Lost uh, Planet. This game is great graphically, graphically great shooter, great uh, 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 cover art. Uh, it's a great game. I got to get back into it sometime. It even has a nice glossy, you know, uh, instruction booklet right there. But this is a sweet shoot 'em up, man. I have Split Heat on on um, the Sega CD. It's the very first one. Very blocky, you know, uh, you know that type of game. But it's it's a really good shooter. If you can go beyond past what what it looks like on it, because for that day, it's what they could do, pushing the limits of the power of the uh, Sega CD. It's great. There's also one on the Sega Genesis I have. That's, uh, 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 I think, no, is there one on Genesis? There might be one on the Genesis, I'm not sure. But I know it's definitely on the Sega CD because I have it. But this is a great game, guys. Highly recommend it. Uh, another for your PlayStation 2, great game. You probably can find it at a good price. You know what I mean? You just have to do your research. Another one here is Ranin 3. Legacy Shooter. This is another great game. This ain't complete or anything. I had a chance to buy complete. No, it doesn't have no book. But it does have a uh, Raiden Project in there for the regular PlayStation. Now, that's another great game you can get. You know what I mean? I found this game at a, at a uh, flea market. It didn't have no cover or anything, but it's a good shooter. You know what I mean? And I only pay like $2 for it. And then this is the regular game here for the PlayStation 2. Raiden 3. But this is this is a great game. Top down shoot 'em up, great graphics for the PlayStation 2 <clears throat> back in the day. This is another one I highly recommend if you're uh, getting into schmops, man. I'm pretty sure you can find some of this stuff pretty cheap. Next one we got here is uh, Gradius 3 and 4, I think. Yeah, there's another good one here for the um, the PlayStation 2. It's an awesome game. Uh, this game is complete. Uh, I never finished this game. Some of these games are a little hard and challenging, but I, I try to get through them. A lot of them I have finished, but you get those schmups that are just really, really hard. You know what I mean? Bullet, bullet storm, you know, like, yeah, coming at you in some of these games. And this is another great game to add to your PlayStation 2 collection if you're in the shoot 'em ups. I'm pretty sure, I don't know, I'm, I don't know how much some of this stuff is, but uh, some of these games have run up in price. You know what I mean? And people don't want to pay that, but if you can get it, get it. It's a great game. Final one for the PlayStation 2 is called uh, R-Type Final. This is uh, another great game. This was also on the GameCube. <clears throat> this is a really shoot good shoot 'em up. It's a little hard, but it's a great shoot 'em up. If you can see that real good because of my lighting, but uh, it's great. It's complete. I like to keep my like I told you stuff. Everything I have in good condition, but uh, it's a great shooter. So if you're in a shoot 'em up for your PlayStation, if you own a PlayStation 1, 2, um, pick them up. They're great. They're great games, man. If you can find them in the wild, pick them up. I'm pretty sure that you'll enjoy them. Now, before I end the video, I just wanted to show you a couple of, of, of more uh, different types of games for the regular uh, PlayStation. <laughs> this one here, I've never seen this, this game on any other system. It might be, correct me if I'm wrong, I don't know. But it's a good to add to your collection if you can find it. Probably not hard to find, I'm really not sure. But it's a weird game, and it's it's um, <clears throat> it's actually something you can actually use to buy, can buy in a toy store. And they grow. And that is Sea Monkeys. <clears throat> this is a weird game, man. 
But I like it. It's awesome. It has a nostalgia in it. You know, I remember having the sea monkeys where I actually grew them in the water and shit. And they uh, lasted for a long time, man. But this is a great one. It's, it was in very good condition. I believe I got this at half price books for about three bucks or something like that. I really can't remember. But um, it's a great game. You know what I mean? It's a it's a really weird game, and it's it's you know it's fun. I mean, so you definitely if you can get your hands on this, um, try it out and see how you like it. But it's pretty cool. Another good game here. <clears throat> this is a fighting game. <clears throat> um, this is called Evil Zone. This is a pretty good fighting game. My friend. Uh, at the time when he had a regular PlayStation a long time ago, I think maybe 99, 89, one of those, 98. He had this, but he had a, he had a PlayStation that was modded, and he always got burnt games, you know what I mean? And that's cool, you know, he saved a lot of money by buying burnt games, but the only problem with when you get PlayStations modded, and he had a few that burnt out, the chip burnt out, and I guess he played it so much, they just burnt out, and they kept giving the guy business because he kept getting the chip over and over and over, you know what I mean? And he had all these games he played for, you know, burn games. But um, this was one of them, and I actually tried it out, uh, and I liked it. So I got the original version here for a few dollars at my uh, local exchange. But it's a great uh, fighting game. It's pretty, pretty decent uh, anime fighting game. You know what I mean? So you'll have to check that one out. It's, pre it's pretty cool. Uh, another one here. If you're into, if you're into, I used to be into wrestling. I'm not into wrestling anymore. <clears throat> the wrestling today is just, I don't know. I, I don't even want to explain it. But this, this was, uh, these games were also on the Nintendo 64, and uh, they had a few that were on the PlayStation. And this is uh, my favorite wrestling league at the time. It's WCW Nitro. I used to love the NWO, you know what I mean, I had a lot of NWO shirts, I still have NWO shirts, but uh, I found a couple of these for a couple bucks on the uh, PlayStation at Half Price Books, and it's actually pretty good, you know what I mean, the, the wrestling games, you honestly, a lot of people say the 64 ones are better, and that's that's true, this, and the N64 ones were a little better, but this is also pretty decent, man. So if you if you pick it up, if you might be able to get it for a couple bucks if you're into wrestling games. This last game I'm going to show you is a fighting game for the regular PlayStation. This game is expensive. It is up there in price. I went to an old uh, uh, movie rental place this guy owned. And he had all these PlayStation games. You know, and sometimes he'll let you buy the games that he has in there. You know, he'll let you know if, if he'll sell it to you or not. He sold this game to me for $5. It was either 5 or $8. It was a weird number. And it is um, X-Men vs. Street Fighter for the regular PlayStation. This game has went up in price. It is a good game for your PlayStation if you like fighters. <clears throat> a, lot, a, lot, a lot of my fighters I like more on Sega. Sega. Saturn, to me, had the best 2D fighters. Um, Virtual Fighter was good on there, you know what I mean? But when it came to 2D fighting games, Sega Saturn was the king of fighting games back then. They just were, the 2D fighting games. So was the Dreamcast. The Dreamcast is really one of the best fighting game systems that you can buy, honestly. But this was a great game on the uh, PlayStation and it has went up in price but if you could pick it up for a good price or find it somewhere at a flea market or whatever pick it up because it's a great Capcom game <clears throat> alright guys that's all I have for now uh, I know this is back to back video I'm gonna end this video here real quick um, I hope you enjoyed it um, I'll probably be back with another video maybe this weekend maybe a Saturday or something like that you know there's uh, some something else I want to do uh, pretending on my games and stuff like that so i hope you guys enjoyed the video uh thanks for subscribing guys and thanks for watching i'll talk to you guys later